Questions remain on January 25 over the military plane crash that Russia said had killed dozens of captured Ukrainian soldiers ahead of a planned prisoner exchange. The Russian defense and foreign ministries blamed Ukrainian forces for downing the IL-76 transport plane over the southern Belgorod region. They say 65 captured Ukrainian soldiers had been on board, as well as their escorts and the crew. Videos on social media on January 24 showed a large plane in the region plummeting from the sky on its side before crashing in a fireball. In what the Kremlin called a monstrous act. On January 25, Ukraine's SBU security service announced it had opened a criminal probe into the downing, specifically into violations of the laws and customs of war. And Ukraine's rights ombudsman Dmitry Lubinets called on January 25 for the United Nations and the International Committee of the Red Cross ICRC to be allowed to inspect the crash site. The ICRC did not respond to Kiev's call, but it described the reports of the crash as worrisome, in a statement to AFP. We will not make any comments or speculations at this stage. Until facts are established, it added. In Paris, Foreign Ministry spokesman Christophe Lemoyne also said France was not yet in a position to comment on Moscow's allegations. Russia has accustomed us to lying on these matters. He said during a press briefing on January 25. The UN Security Council is due to meet later on January 25 to discuss Moscow's charges that Kyiv shot down the military transport plane. The French presidency of the Council said in a statement that the meeting, requested by Russia, would take place on January 25 at 5 p.m., 6 a.m. on January 26, Singapore time. While officials in Kyiv have not denied the Russian allegations outright, they have questioned key aspects of its narrative, such as whether its servicemen were killed. Ukraine's military intelligence said it had no comprehensive information detailing who was on the flight. Kyiv has confirmed that an exchange had been scheduled for later on January 24 on the border between the two countries. But the military intelligence unit said Moscow had not informed it in advance that the POWs would be transported by plane, as it had in the past. In another carefully worded statement, Ukraine's army pointed to heightened Russian military activity in the Belgorod region, pledging to continue attacking Russian military targets, again without specifically addressing Moscow's claims. Local Ukrainian media initially cited defense sources saying that the Ukrainian army had downed a plane and that it had been carrying missiles. That claim was quickly retracted. President Volodymyr Zelensky has neither confirmed nor denied Moscow's claims. Russia was playing with the lives of Ukrainian prisoners, he said late on January 24, calling for an international investigation. Russian officials roll out a series of statements presenting its side of the story on January 24, but has yet to distribute video or images of victims' remains. State media reported the plane's black boxes were recovered, but there has been no official comment their contents. Moscow has been much more circumspect over previous incidents. It offered no comment, for example, when Kyiv claimed last week to have downed an A-50 Russian reconnaissance plane and damaged an IL-22 bomber over the Azov Sea. In August, the plane carrying the leader of the Wagner mercenary group, Yevgeny Prigazin crashed on a flight from Moscow to St. Petersburg. Prigazin died alongside his top aides in the incident. Two months after they attempted to topple Russia's military leadership, angering President Vladimir Putin. Putin said the plane had crashed because passengers had detonated a grenade on board. But Moscow provided no evidence. When in July 2014, Malaysia Airlines flight MH17 was shot down over eastern Ukraine with all 298 people on board killed. The Kremlin proposed a variety of explanations, 
sometimes contradictory. In 2022, a Dutch court sentenced three men fighting among Kremlin-backed separatist forces to life in prison in absentia. Separately, a Ukrainian security source told AFP on January 25 that Kyiv's security services had orchestrated an overnight drone attack on an oil refinery in the southern Russian town of Twops. Kyiv has ramped up strikes on Russian oil and gas facilities over the past two months, part of what it has called fair retaliation for Russian strikes on its own energy infrastructure. Ukraine has claimed responsibility for a string of attacks on Russian energy infrastructure in the past two weeks, including the huge inferno at a depot in western Russia last January 19th.